<laughs> all right, we're back. Okay, I hope you all can join me. Uh, we had a little short break here. I was putting my baby to sleep. You never know with their schedules, so I am trying to actually get us on Instagram now and Facebook live for the first uh, redo, restart, startup of the light language live stream, sound of light live stream. As you can tell, I'm still busy trying to take advantage of the free time we've got here. I know the spirit is orchestrating everything just right, and so I'm not afraid. <laughs> as tempting as it can be to start getting down when things don't go as you plan, we are all going through it, and rolling with the punches is the way to go. Let's see here. I'm trying to go live. Thank you all for joining once again. Great to have you. Super excited to be kicking off the Sound of Light live stream. They're going to be every Thursday at noon Mountain Standard Time, MST. So, I think we're right about ready to go. Yes, here we are, here we are. Do, 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 do. Going live in three, two, one. All right. Who do we have here? Hello, Ali Turab, 4875. Hello, everyone on Facebook who's tuning in. This is my first Sound of Light live stream. I'm going to be doing this every Thursday at noon MST. I'm excited to be here with all of you. I'm standing right now because I wanted to start uh, this live stream with some light language movement. So if you're tuning in, I am going to be doing all different forms of light language today. I'm going to be doing light language movement, some light language singing, some light language signing, um, channeling and maybe, well, I'm going to show you at least some light language scripting. So if you're new to light language, light language is a universal language. It's the language of all. It draws not just from our languages here on earth, but from a multi-dimensional time stream, outside of time stream. It's anywhere that you could channel from, which is everywhere, you know, at some point. It comes through you in sound, it comes through you in tones, it comes through your heart. So it's working with your own organic light structure body, your vocal cords, uh, if you're drawing it, your hands, if you're moving it, your entire body. And it's, it's like you're an instrument for divine consciousness, excuse that, divine consciousness, um, the all stream. So you may be speaking galactic languages, you may be speaking earth languages, but overall um, it's filtering through your higher self for those who are viewing, for yourself, um, light language loves to come out. It loves to be expressed. The light is expressing through your own life as an expression of light, but this is an even more precise way to bring through messages that are going to build, restructure DNA, realign DNA, encourage others. This is cutting edge stuff. It's also been around since ancient times, um, but we're really coming into a time as uh, humanity that we're waking up, that something is changing and it's, it's not as tangible, it's not as like a prescription, I can go and take this and this changes. No, you can actually just do things that feel good for you, that resonate with your own frequency because at the core, this is quantum science, everything is frequency. So I wasn't going to say all that, but light language is so real, it's so vital to us today and um, I'm just excited to be able to be a channel for it. This is something I'm stepping into as a calling and it feels daunting at times <laughs> to how do I be taken seriously, how do I let people know about the lives that this is affecting and changing worldwide, uh, but here I am, I'm showing up and I'm going to show up every week for you guys. Um, this is going to be 10 minutes after this week or you can join me in my membership, uh, which I'm going to be setting up on my main page. You can find all my links on Instagram through my link tree or on Facebook, it's Kyra Solana Spiritual Encouragement Services. So I'm getting excited, I'm revving this up, I'm bringing content to you every week, because I feel like it's important. Um, so hello everyone who's watching and joining. 
Go ahead and share this with your friends. If you think they'd be into light language, uh, it's going to be available for replay. I'm starting out now setting the intention and doing some light language movement for us today. So if you're watching, just watch from a meditative state and with an open heart, taking it all in right through here. And your own higher self will filter it and bring it in. The key is just to focus on it with openness and receptivity. Here we go. I set the intention for all light, all love, the highest metatronic caliber, full stream to come through right now. That anything that would distract or try to distort would be voided right now. We are in perfect flow. It is so. stuck, that in a sea of so many voices and perspectives and opinions right now, in a sea of so much dogma and spiritual belief and perspective, it's easy to get lost. It's easy to uh, forget to tune into your own voice and to find your own voice. The light is inviting you now to participate in this active, active, active form of sharing your voice. For if it falls on your ears, it falls on the ears of everyone. You are such an integral, integral part of the greater web of life. 
I guess we're just moving right into channeling here. I'm going to uh, intend that the people watching right now get specific messages, and those that are watching on replay get specific messages as well. If you can imagine these two points on your own body beginning to open up and unwind. Shira 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 Maya Alehera Ma Alehera Ma Ancestors are coming through. Ancestors are coming through. Sari Vara Kuru 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 Ushin Viera Sintu Ud 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 You honor us with your living. Sari Vara Kuru Kuru Sintu Ud 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 Abhiyiru Kuru Nsuru Kuru Yes, every action you take is a reflection on us. We reflect in you, and as you are purified, so we are purified. Child, you have for too long thought that your actions, your words, and your thoughts were contained in your vessel. The truth is that each and every one goes out, each and every one affects the line forward from you and the line behind you. Even the ancestors are working from where they are to purify, to bless, to make way for you to be in your full, true, genuine, authentic expression. We see how you have been reaching out to us. We see how you have felt a sadness for not reaching out to us enough in your own mind. But again, you are enough. Your life and every choice that you make reflects on us. And it moves forward and it moves backwards. So time is a circle. Truly you are affecting so much more than you realize. Nakam Rama, Nakam Rama, say a poor Rakam, 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 Relax this area, your digestion for the woman, your womb. Relax your creative center right now and receive these tones. Continue breathing.
Ramindo, 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 Rahazi, Juraha, Raha. Taking another deep breath, integrating in silence. I'm so grateful for everyone. I see your comments that. This is so powerful for you. Thank you for participating. Allow those emotions to flow right now. As we go through this hour, allow your heart to remain open to the messages, to the tones, to the movements. Thank you, thank you for participating. So right now, I'm going to move into another time of channeling. I'm just going to be speaking in light language and then speaking in English. Continue to remain open in your heart and receive however much of this you can receive right now or on replay. So blessed to have you here. I'm Kyra Solana. This is the Sound of Light live stream. I'm here every Thursday in MST. Ak ak ombri para surukuturu su ishini ara ishini nogo minyana ans ir ar ikara surukuru umburu iara sinta ishina aga iara bru utsu ura bru ung om na hisir utrazi na akosundu mashin ra ma iara son itara son na hishin mara kusuru uputsu umburu umpuwa. You have been hiding your heart. You have been hiding your tenderness in a cave, in a vault, in whatever thing you can bring into your mind right now where you see that your heart has been hiding that image. I want you to take whatever size that image is and, and shrink it down to the size of something you can hold in your hand. That thing that is hiding, veiling, or limiting your heart. And I want it to rest easy in your hands as you send it energy from your hands, whether it be Reiki or just loving, divine, pure energy, untouchable grace, love. Send it now to that very thing in your imagination, which is hiding your heart. For me, the thing that popped in was a plastic grocery bag, right? It can be anything, the very first thing, the thing that stands out the most. And just send that love. For some reason, your heart has been hiding there. 
Ura, as I bring this transmission forward, I want you to send this structure that has been hiding your heart love. And now imagine the light from your heart within this structure shining bright and beginning to shine through and dissolve the structure. See that heart shining so bright that it dissolves the entire structure. and feel that light burst in your chest. in this bright sphere, I invite you now to imagine yourself at the very center of our planet, at the very center of the central sun, shining, shining, shining with all your heart radiance. Open, open, open heart. So central sun of our planet. Sa one with every other living thing, everything on this planet.
Happy bread. Integration. I invite you to allow a gentle smile on your face, if that feels right. You are the sun, inner and outer. I'm going to put a light language symbol in front of the screen right now. I'm going to invite you with these energies just for a few minutes to meditate with it. Thank you for sharing what you think of it below in the comments. I love that seeking balance. It's a lot of the message I'm getting from it right now. Yeah, feel free to comment. So I have a message that I'm receiving looking at this. It's, it's new every time. It's always for the now. It can speak to you. Um, but there's actually more symbols underneath that are showing up through the back. Um, might be hard to see right now. There you go. I'll give you this to look at for a while. Again, read it with your heart, with your intuition. And what I was feeling from this was the message that it's okay to start simple. Uh, and I thought about a baby, I thought about a tadpole, um, I thought about a caterpillar turning into a butterfly. It is okay, it is natural to start simple. It's so easy to start simple, right? So sometimes I think we stop ourselves from following our passions, following our goals and dreams, because we think, oh, you know, I don't have it all together. Um, I don't, you know, have the complete picture. Why should I start? Well, just think of it like a tadpole, and I love that sense of completeness. Um, a tadpole starts simple, and it turns into this frog, you know. A, a drawing starts simple with one stroke, a painting, one stroke, a drawing, one line. And this is a real encouragement um, right now. The message is coming through strong. Whatever you've been holding back on starting because you don't feel like you have enough of the picture together, you feel scared of missing the mark, that message also came through. Um, start simple. Start somewhere where it's so easy you can't fail. And keep at it. And it's going to build for you. And it's going to build for you into that very thing, that 
bigger structure that you already see now that just feels like maybe it's too much, you can't even start. Start simple, to start small. Um, so something that I love to do with light language, and I go through this in my online course, Set Ablaze, which you can find in my link tree in my bio, um, is how we can ask light questions and channel back the answers through light language. So it's another form of intuition, um, of accessing you know, the Akashic records, of accessing the all-knowledge. And you can come to light language with a question, bring your notebook out, and just literally automatic stroking, writing, whatever form comes out. And then you're going to look at that form, and whatever it intuitively speaks to you um, is what it's meant to speak to you. So a lot of times, like I was looking at this side, there was like a little uh, cross right here, and there was something that looked like a tadpole. And that's okay. It doesn't have to be anything more, anything more like fancy, woo-woo, etheric than this is what I'm seeing, and this is the thoughts that are coming to mind with what I'm seeing. And so a lot of times you can get answers to questions that way, just from your own uh, light getting a chance to communicate, getting a chance to express. Ooh, rebirth, starting fresh. Yes, starting fresh. And that rebirth is, again, like a birth. And sometimes at the beginning it, it can feel like it's not enough, it's too small, but that's not true. Um, the simpleness is beautiful. The seed is so simple, and from it can come a forest. Right? So, thank you for tuning in. We are, I believe, about halfway through because I started a little late today. Um, and I'll just take this time to introduce myself again to anybody who's new and viewing this um, live. My name is Kairos Alana Deus, the Light of God Awakening. And I've been on a journey. I've been on a journey, many journeys as we all have, to reach the point that I'm at now where I feel spirit saying very strongly that the language of light is a language of all, for all, that when we access it, we access freedom, freedom from any kind of constraint around our creativity and expression. We access authenticity because no one can tell you how to do it or if it's right or wrong because there is no right or wrong. It is purely your expression in the light. And I am excited about the e-course that I made. I'm excited about in-person concerts that I'm planning right now. Um, I have a team that I'm building. If this is something, light language is something that you're into and the next year ahead you, you feel like you want to get involved with it but you're not sure how, contact me. I'm doing something big in this next year. So um, I am, again, <laughs> uh, just, just a person like you and I have my gifts to offer and it's hard sometimes to step into something that's not mainstream or uh, considered a normal job, but I have found that as I take care of myself and as I follow the call of spirit, um, I do have support around me. I do have family of light and real family and friends who are family. And there is a structure built ready for you as a node, as a neuron of this planet to, to flow. And there's a, a pathway for you to flow that's easeful. And there may be obstacles along the way, but those are literally building up your strength. So I'm just feeling all this flowing out of me. Again, light can come in English, light can come in light language. Um, but it's, it's an amazing thing when we center into our hearts and we open up the doors and allow expression through the vocal cords, through our hands and our creativity and our painting, through our entire body and light language movement, through our signing, Right? These are all structures, and quantum science is now showing us that everything that we put out into the air, every word, is literally alive and creating. And the words program our you know, um, second brain, I'm not sure which one, uh, it's not the reptilian, um, it's not the frontal lobe, but it's that, that inner brain that releases the chemicals right, that are reacting to the emotions, to the words, to the experiences that we have, both in our lives and in our dreams and in our daydreams. And if we have virtual lives, it's all there, and it's, it's literally feeding our bodies with the physical chemicals to bring us to where uh, our thoughts are taking us, to bring us to where our emotions are taking us. And so don't let that all run wild um, and free and, and never look at it, right? This is something that the light language is, is trying to help us see who we are, what our message is. What our voice, what our soul voice sounds like. What our soul movements look like. 
And it can be so hard to say, oh, they're going to judge me. You know, um, you know, so start in your closet if you want. I, I mean, I'm in my RV. But we are being asked now by the light to express and to not judge ourselves. Right? Because if you can allow the pure expression of your heart in whatever faith, way feels comfortable to you in, in creative light form, you're going to find freedom. I'm telling you. I reach points in my life where I don't know what to say, I don't know what to pray, and in comes a stream of light language through my mouth. Out come the tears. You know, I saw somebody who was crying here already, like, bless you. Because this is our soul language. These are our soul frequencies literally hitting us, releasing, releasing truth, releasing things into our DNA, restructuring our DNA with light molecules. If there's new science out there, guys, cutting edge. They are finding crystals in people's blood more and more as we are restructuring into our light bodies. You know, don't be afraid that it sounds crazy or it's a whole new paradigm. Take it simple. Take your own awakening simple wherever you're at, whatever next is the next stage is for you. Don't let yourself feel like you're down, overwhelmed, not good enough. That message is still coming through you. Keep it simple. And... That's right, our hearts and thoughts create our realities, yes. Thank you for that comment, John. We will now go into a time where we're going to focus on our simplicity. And so I'm, I'm really feeling, actually, I'm going to kind of sit down myself and see if I can take this over here, make it a bit more simple. So I just invite you again to breathe and close your eyes if you want. Find that center place in your high heart where you're open. Any stress, let it relax and dissolve away into the bright sun of your heart's radiance. You can pick it up later if you want. For right now, it's set down, it's dissolved. Just allowing that true relaxation to open your channel to the truth of life, to the power and the freedom and the realignment and the healing of life, the release, the restructuring. Badadido, badadido, da badidado, so do, da 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 Asi 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 o akoma. See you. 
So glad you've done that healing. So glad you have access to the light anytime. Just send out your gratitude to light itself, to the illumination of reality, to the illumination of every part of yourself, to the hidden parts of your heart that have now been brought into the light to be loved on, to be healed, to be unified in the central core of this planet that cannot be shaken, that is only ever evolving, becoming more and more light, more and more whole, more and more healed. I want to close out our time together with another meditation. Thank you so much for joining me for the Sound of Light live stream. As we start this meditation, go ahead and put your hands on your heart. Take a deep breath in and out a couple times. Totally relaxing, allowing a gentle smirk or smile across your face that feels right. Continue to breathe and relax. I feel the light wanting to come into every corner. any hidden part and shine on it the light of grace that cannot be earned and a love that has no conditions. Right now there's nothing you need to do in this moment. It's all complete. In this moment, just relax into that feeling of there is nothing left to do. 
to be absolutely perfect, love, complete, and whole. Breathing into this as you relax even more. Nothing to do. Nowhere to be, but right here, right now. And I want you to picture a seed in the center of your being. And it's vibrating. It's shaking. And it's surrounded by an untouchable light. And I want you to imagine the shaking of the seed as all the fears all the hardship and all the doubt. And though it feels like they are shaking you up, they are literally shaking this seed, getting it ready to break open. Allow this seed to shake with the fuel of that fear and that doubt. And whatever else wants to shake it up, And as that seed shakes, you begin to feel it expand, wanting to burst through with the first shoot of new life. As this seed shakes, allow the fears and the doubts to literally break it open right now. See that flower as a shoot, a simple shoot. And if it goes further, that's okay too. But a shoot is enough. Brilliant, surrounded by a shining light that cannot be dimmed. And I want you to see yourself with this tiny shoot, with this flower beginning, this flower of your life, of your light. And I want you to promise this little shoot that it is enough and that it is untouchable, and that from this point on, it will continue to grow exactly as it ought to grow into the perfect thing that it wants to grow into, that is in perfect alignment with all other growing life. Really tell your sheep that you're safe, you're growing perfectly and will always grow exactly the way that you are meant to. There's nothing left to do. The light has promised to protect them. The water is inside your being. So as long as you're alive, the seed is alive too. Takora <laughs> sinahora Asira, asira, amode hasido horaridagam, nisa rupa, 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 aniha mado, aniha mado. Ravi, Ravi, Sanna Mokoreha, Haksera, Haksera, Zanoji. Yes, 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 beloved. Breathing with the light. Gratitude for you being here for the Sound of Light live stream. I feel good. I feel great. I hope you're feeling good too. I'm excited to do this more, to get more confident myself. Um, starting simply, but it's working out. I'm super blessed. Super blessed by my son, when he's young. Hold him in our hearts. It's a pleasure that makes this possible as well. 
thank each and every one of you for the treasure that you are, for the light that you are, for the life, the uncomfortable light that you are, that you are bringing to the planetary system right now by being and by allowing light to work and to enter you and to enter the hidden places. Don't stay hidden, my friends. Share, share, share. I'm all about sharing raw, sharing real, um, in the lows and the highs. We all go through it, okay? So it's okay. And uh, I send you guys love too. Thank you so much. I'm so glad to share. Uh, I'm just, I'm just, I'm blessed and blessed right now. What can I say? Uh, join me next week. I'm going to have 10 minutes free. I'll have a way for you to sign up. Uh, if not today, tomorrow. Um, you can always DM me. Hey, put me on your mailing list for this live stream. I'm just going to come at you with lots of light in all forms every single week, Thursdays at 12 p.m. MST, Sound of Light live stream, Kairos Solana Deus. I also offer services on my main page. Go ahead and look at my link tree. Oh, and I have to mention, today is the one year from my beloved's transition. This is Dane, my partner, father of my beautiful baby. He's my angel in heaven now. And he set this up for me to do it this way, I'm sure, so that I would have something to focus on this positive and beautiful. Uh, so I send him my love. On him right now, grateful that I can be here and stand here and be a channel for spirit. And nothing can stop me. I love him.